Welcome back to Tech ER. We have a guest joining us today from the University of Waterloo. Professor and chemical engineer Frank Gu is here to talk to us about the use of nanotechnology to treat cancer. Professor, why is cancer treatments therapies side effects so bad? Well, chemotherapy is designed to treat cancer conditions when mm -hmm. the cancer cells have spread to a different part of the body. And uh, one of the common side effects associated with chemotherapy is uh, associated with the cancer uh, drugs are treating not only the cancer cells, but also the good cells in our body. So we actually kill good cells as well. We do. And the side effects that typically observe uh, includes fa uh, the fa uh, nausea and uh, fatigue, vomiting, and uh, hair loss. Hair loss. Yeah. So it can actually be making it worse a little bit for the patient. Absolutely. Who's already weak, right? So what is your invention and mission? <laughs> One of our uh, mission here is to deliver uh, the therapeutic drugs in a very, very small vehicle. Mm -hmm. And uh, these are so-called nanoparticles. And we wanted to pack all the th chemotherapeutic drugs into a nanoparticle and allow these nanoparticles to travel uh, in the body to find the cancer cells and kill the cancer cells. And the goal here is to deliver a large dose of chemotherapeutic drugs directly to cancer cells. So you make it very small and you deliver less totally, but you deliver more to the cells? To the cancer cells. To the cancer cells, yeah. So think of it more as a smart bomb uh, in the body at a oh. nanometer scale that can be treated to kill cancer cells. Okay, so very specific, you will not kill the normal cells. The idea is to leave the healthy normal cells free and while concentrating the ammunition of these drugs directly to the tumor uh -huh. cells. You brought the clip? Yes, we did. Okay. And so so you're going to take us through this? Okay. Yes. Take the clip through for us. So, so here is a, a very quick strategy how we make the cancer uh, nano vehicles. Here so you is wrap it. That's right. What's happening is that the drugs are shown in the blue spheres. Okay. And the, the polymer and the vehicles are shown as a little... Oh, uh, yeah, little strings. This, this is the polymer. Yes. So it is your capsule. That's right. Uh -huh. What's happening here is that the polymer has a water-loving part and oil-loving part. Okay. And the drug itself is oil-loving, so it constantly associated with the blue lines. Okay. So in the, in the, uh, this, this uh, seam here is shown as a uh, precipitation. So this is your factory? That's right. This is a nano factory. Big term, here. which is uh, well, self-organizing, or what do you call them? Well, we call it self-assembly. Self-assembly. What's happening this is, is happening that the now. yeah, the uh, the self the self-assembly of the hydrophobic okay. or the so the oil. So you're making part. one very small capsule. This is one medicine capsule. This is one nanoparticle ah, scale. They're right. in the t tens of nanometer scale. Yes. In order to make these cancer cells, uh, the, the these agents go directly to cancer cells. Right. We functionalize the surface of these nanoparticles okay. so they can be traveled directly. To cancer cells. So you deliver nanoparticles, which means you deliver the drugs. Yes. Okay. And well, we deliver the particles encapsulating the drugs. In there. Yes. Okay. So it's injection. So in this case, we can make them into an injectable form. Mm -hmm. And once the particles are injected into the, into the blood vessels, um, they can then find them find themselves the way to find ah. the cancer cells. We make ourselves very small. They're very, very small. They're and we are now swimming scale. with the blood cells? They, we are swimming in the what blood cells. What the white stuff? White stuff is what? The white stuff are the nanoparticles. Oh, the little ones? The very right. little ones. Oh, yes. not the big ones. The big ones are the what? what? These are the red blood cells. Oh, Those the are red blood cells and then the, the white, big, big white blood cells as well, right? That's right. Ah. Now, the tumor themselves are known to have poorly structured vasculatures, meaning their blood vessels have a lot of holes. Right. And we wanted to use these nanoparticles so to find holes themselves. in the what? In the, on the blood vessel oh, no, that no, leads no. directly to the tumor. So we're traveling now very small. So now again. we're navigating into the tumor vasculature, now down to individual and that tumor is cell. A cancer cell? That is a cancer ah. cell. So what's happening here is this is what we call the targeted delivery. Uh -huh. Therefore, the, the surface of the nanoparticles have the uh, uh, specific ligands yes. that bind uh, to the cancer cell. So they're sticky. That's so right. this is the surface of the cancer cell. This, is this the horizon the is cell. the cancer cell. That's right. And then, okay, this you know, So what's happening here is that these nanofactory particles just landed. Just landed. The eagle has landed. sticked onto and the surface stick. cap. Ah, you found this is the second part of your di uh, discovery, which is the stickiness only for cancer cells. There, right? It stick only on the cancer cells. Language. Okay. This is a little bit. Uh, okay. uh, What's the sinkhole? Well, this is what how the tumor cells normally taking in nutrients and, uh, oh, and particles. So, so they don't know this is poison. They think this is food. They, they think this is something With regular. Yes. Yeah. And once they get into the inside the cells, yes. this is where the drug uh, they're encapsulated within the particles and this part. can be subsequently released. So there's released. another layer of skin, literally the cancer cells own wrapping, on top of your uh, therapy. So this is it. 
right? So this is it, yeah. Ah. So here is, we're looking at an individual nanoparticle yes. inside this uh, little uh, cellular endosome. Right. Um, and what's happening here is that the, uh, uh, as the pH within these little vesicles start to change. Um, and they change themselves. They change. Ah. And the particles start to degrade. Done. Okay. And this, this degradation will lead to drug delivery. Ah. But not yet. They are now what? So what's happening here to is each other, why? thousands and thousands of these nanoparticles are taken uh, into each tumor cell. So they, the they, pills actually group together to become a big bomb? <laughs> is that you can, you can think of that it? way. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. So that's slowly going now. As it's doing this, it naturally then starts to what, dissolve these vessels on the inside? Well, the pH within these vesicles start to drop, which causes the polymer start to degrading. Uh, and the polymer degradation then lets to so the drug delivery, measure. drug and release. it's all inside the cancer cell right now. And then this finally, is all this within is the what, cancer. Finally, explosion. So here, what's happening is, is the drugs are gradually releasing out of the out of the. So the blue vessel. are the actual medicine, the poison to the. Cell? Well, the toxic, the the toxic therapeutic drugs, yes. To the uh, cells, and boom. So what's happening here is now, as the drugs are leaving, okay. they started beginning to uh, exert its uh, toxicity yeah. onto the cells, yeah. and the cell eventually dies. Dies, and the moment it dies. Is that what you're showing? Pop. Is that what happened? Well, that's a bit dramatic. It's is not it? what's really happening on there, but uh, uh, this, we're just trying to symbolize that the cells are to die. And then the, uh, the tumor goes away. Yes. Okay. Professor? So, what's next? Well, we, uh, we have demonstrated this uh, vehicle works fairly effectively uh, right. in, in cellular level, uh, mm -hmm. in animals. Yes. So now we're moving into clinical trials to effect. So actually trying on humans with some patients. Yes. And the FDA, Food and Drug Administration of the U.S. Well, this is a technology that we originally spun from uh, uh, my previous location, the Massachusetts Ooh. Institute of Technology. Oh, you, you were at MIT when you, did, when you yes. uh, invented this? Yes. My so uh, now it's testing in the U.S. and patients are actually getting some in a trial basis. The company that are actually working on this is called Bio Biosciences. Uh -huh. and this and is a startup company of Professor Langer and Omi Faragsad uh -huh. at MIT. So, uh, in several years we will see very, very wide use. Well, it, it will take a while to go through the clinical trials, but right. we hope to have this to treat uh, cancer patients. Now, one, my last question is, Professor Go, is it applicable to all cancer cells and cancer treatments? Well, we hope to use this as a technology platform, which uh -huh. can be able to use for a variety of cancer patients by encapsulating different drugs inside. Different drugs, oh, literally. And then it not only cancer, because if any other drug where you do have this similar side effect question. We can easily adapt it into different platforms for treatments. Is that? Oh, so in that way, that would be very good for, for patients when you finally get that. So your team is actually now going to forward and what, doing more types of drugs to treat in the same method? Well, we hope to find a way to find adding more drugs into these vehicles and to, in, to train these particles to be more precise and targeting more efficiently onto the cancer so cells. So for patients, it virtually means no more hair loss, no more vomiting, perhaps? That's the goal we were working with. Yes. Yes. And so far, it's been likely that you've seen this. We hope to, to see that. Yes. Very good. So when we finally do, I'm sure the patients will be very glad to, for a new day. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank you very much, Professor.